Here are my top five tips of what I like to do every day to get my engine started right. That sounds wrong. Okay, <laughs> sex is one of them, but it's not in this current list. <laughs> When you wake up, there are a few things you can do to optimize your body and your day in general. Number one, lemon water. We've all heard it before, but if you've ever actually done it, boil some water, squeeze some fresh lemon in there, allow it to cool. I just drop a few ice cubes in so it's not so hot and drink it. Do this before you eat anything or drink any other water. This helps cleanse your digestive tract and get it prepared and primed for everything it's about to bring in and assimilate today. Two, gratitude. While you're boiling the water for the lemon water, get a piece of paper and pen and start writing down all the things that you're grateful for in your life. Just sit there and list them out. It could be your family, it could be your pets, it could be where you live, anything, any small thing. And let the list snowball out of control. And as you're writing it, read over it and feel those emotions of gratitude and how it makes you feel to have all those things in your life. You may not know this, but as soon as you start doing this, you're changing the energy around you and you're triggering the law of attraction to bring to you a freaking badass day and all the things that it is that you want. So yeah, that's a great way to start the day in my book. Three apple cider vinegar. You can mix two tablespoons into eight ounces of water, or you can just be a fucking badass and do a shot. Shots, 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 shots. Everybody. I'm a nerd. Here are some benefits of using apple cider vinegar. It prevents candida growth. It's great for detoxification, reduces cholesterol, it helps you lose weight. It improves your digestion and it supports and boosts your immune system. It helps control and stabilize blood sugar. It's an antifungal, so if you have any kind of crazy funguses going on in your body, that will help keep them at bay, which is why it's great for candida. It boosts your energy and it's great for your overall body. It also regulates your pH and it's great for making your hair shiny. So yeah, take the shot. Four. Probiotics. Probiotics are great for your body. They're so good for getting your gut health in check, getting things balanced, and you'll notice the higher amount of good bacteria that you have in there, the better your movements. Also, the healthier you will become because the flora in our gut is actually the first line of defense from pathogens that we ingest in our food, that we breathe in, and it's great for just keeping you as healthy as possible. The stronger the defense you have in there, the less likely you are to get sick. But not only that, especially for women, take a female probiotic. It's really good for your vaginal flora and for keeping urinary tract infections at bay and again, keeping away any kind of funky vaginal infections. <laughs> and finally, water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Water is so good for your overall health, but ladies, let's face it. You know you look at those cracks in your face. I'm looking at mine right now. The more water you drink, the more plump and healthy your skin's gonna be, and those fine lines are gonna not be so visible. Not only that, it makes you feel in a better mood. It actually suppresses your appetite because most of the hunger pangs that we feel throughout the day, it's actually thirst. And by the time you're feeling a thirst pang, it means you're already dehydrated. So rule of thumb, you simply calculate your weight, what it is in pounds, and you divide that in half, and whatever the number is, that's the number of ounces to drink each day in water. So for example, if you weigh 200 pounds, you would drink 100 ounces a day. And yes, this can be hard to drink sometimes, but there's ways of making it taste good without having to add shit to it. You can chop up fruit and infuse the water. I like to put in strawberries and berries or cucumbers or even lemon wedges. Make your water flavorful if it's a challenge, but all in all, if you're just not used to drinking a lot of water, just always have your bottle at hand. I always have it with me at all times, so I know to drink it. And look, the proof's in the pudding. I've been drinking it. And you pee a lot, but other than that, it's great for your body and it helps just get rid of the brain fog. You have more clarity. So those are my top five tips to start your day right. And of course, you know the drill. Sharing is caring. Share this video with someone you think could really benefit with this. And of course, check out the printable. Print it off, stick it on your fridge so you see it every morning and you remember, oh, I need to start my engine right for the day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Want more? Check out my free 10 day mind, body, soul video series. Link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.